will the ground in Puerto Rico stop shaking? The USGS releasing a new forecast today calling for more aftershocks over the next seven days. The question tonight, what are the chances they'll be hit with the big one? ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska talking to a seismologist to find out. Rocked by hundreds of earthquakes, people in the southwest part of the island near Ponce are sleeping under the stars. On Saturday, a 5.9 magnitude aftershock created more uncertainty in the region. The third in a sequence of earthquakes, the first 5.8, the next 6.4. The U.S. Geological Survey says be ready for more. Each time you go up one magnitude uh, level, you're actually releasing 30 times more energy. Jochen Braun Miller is a seismologist at USF. I hope that they are already slowing down at this point. But Braun Miller says an earthquake of catastrophic proportions is not off the table. The worst case scenario for Puerto Rico would be a subduction zone earthquake on the order of magnitude 7.5 to 8. So far, he says the earthquakes plaguing the island were triggered in the upper crust, not deep under Puerto Rico, where both plates meet. It goes down beneath Puerto Rico, but the earthquakes actually happened about here. So they happened on top of that downgoing plate inside a place that is sort of deforming. The USGS calls for decreased activity over the next 30 days, but no one can predict what's next. The Caribbean plate is very difficult to understand in terms of plate tectonics. There is an 8% chance over the next week that another quake that's six magnitude or higher will strike. If you live in the southwest part of the island, if you have any opportunity maybe to temporarily live with friends or family, uh, closer to the northern part of the island. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.